I want to talk China. You see that graphic, China menace? Sitting next to me is Michael McCall. He is the chair of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, an important guy. Sir, welcome to the show. Good to have you sitting next to me. Thanks for having me. State of, uh, Secretary of State Blinken, he just wrapped up this two-day meeting in Beijing, mm -hmm. met with Xi Jinping. I get the impression that we're being pushed around. What say you? Well, you know, uh, to make concessions before you actually meet with someone or to make concessions to have a meeting is not the right way to, to negotiate. You want to negotiate with leverage, not out of weakness. And that's what they've done is they've stopped export uh, controls on controls of Huawei. Uh, they stopped all the um, sanctions on human rights violations uh, in China just to get a meeting. Uh, that's not the right way to do this. I don't think Ronald Reagan would have done this with the, with the Soviets. Um, and so they're giving away things just to be able to meet in person. That's a display of weakness, not strength. And so, and you see the outcome. I, I don't see any outcomes from this meeting other than we'll have another meeting maybe in, in Washington. You're, a tex you're from Texas. <laughs> yes, sir. You've got a, we've all got a, a fentanyl problem. Mm -hmm. Now, Biden, uh, Blinken, I should say, Blinken asked for help in curbing fentanyl. Yeah. I believe he went to the China and asked for their help. Yeah. Is that the way to go? <laughs> well, we need, we need leverage over them. And, uh, you know, the one thing the prior administration did was they threatened with all sorts of terrorists and things like that to stop fentanyls from coming in to Mexico that then come up into the United States killing 100,000 young people in, in the United States. So, you know, fentanyl to the spy balloon, a lot of these concessions took place after the spy balloon, you know, was able to record our nuclear sites in the United States, transmit it back home. Uh, there, you know, <clears throat> we're reading about this uh, surveillance station in Cuba that can actually pick up uh, signal intelligence in the United States, uh, a space station in Argentina. There are all sorts of issues right now, you know, including the fentanyl. Um, and again, I haven't seen the outcomes. Look, I think you have to have an open dialogue. You always have to have a hotline in case of an emergency. But um, you leverage out of, again, it, it, you negotiate out of strength and not to weakness, and that's my issue here. Uh, I want to talk to you about the border. You're from Texas. Mm -hmm. After the ending of <clears throat> Title 42, we were expecting a surge. Right. The surge has not happened. I mean, it's 4,000 a day. That's still a lot of people, but the surge yeah. has not happened. What does that tell you? Well, they're using this app that um, if you sign up for the app, you don't, you don't, you're not counted in those numbers. So it's a bit deceptive to say the numbers have gone down. They're also setting up humanitarian parole, uh, more chain migration. I think you're going to see actually more migration coming up. But, but the fact is it's still not secure. His own uh, Border Patrol chief said that. We lost but operation we, control. We've handed over control to the cartels. It's the we cartels do. that's organizing small groups, present them to the frontier, at the border, they're in, then they take them to the cities. This is soup to nuts. This is the cartels doing this. It, 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 no, don't they, we know who runs the cartels? We do, and they're smart. And when Remain in Mexico was abolished, rescinded on day one, they knew that. So political asylum is important here. If they know they can get in the United States to make that claim, once they do, they appear and then they disappear because we don't have detention space. We need to return to that policy that worked uh, because when they were in Mexico and if they were denied, they had to go back home and they weren't in the United. We have five million people. What in the world are we going to do with five million people? We have no idea who they are. They're living in the shadows and it's a criminal enterprise. They're going to work eventually, aren't they? Well, Whether we like it or be, not, they're if they would be productive, not that's great. Back. Yeah, we, this administration will not. Yeah, it will not. Sir, it was a great pleasure having you on Always the show Stuart. today, Mike McCall. Thank you, sir. Appreciate yeah, great it. to see you. Yes, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.